from as far back as I can remember. I've always wanted to be a punk rocker. What's up, man? You caught me at the best time. I'm fucking cutting up some buds. Get ready to smoke a fucking joint. If you don't already know, my name's Jared. I sing for fucking Head P.E. We're an American hardcore band out of Southern California, Huntington Beach. And fucking we're signed to the best fucking punk rock label on the planet, Suburban Noise Records. You know, most other labels are run by fucking fags, but this fucking label is punk rock. I mean, the one, the one CEO is fucking, his name's Kevin Zinger. He owns SRH Clothing. He's a fucking legendary pro surfer out of San Diego. The other owner, his name's Brad X, who's like a fucking, a fucking legend in his own time, punk rocker from out of Southern California, who also used to make millions of fucking dollars promoting clubs in LA. So we're fucking loving it being on that label. It's the Cottonmouth King label. So you know we always got weed. <laughs> Cause those guys always got like pounds and shit laying around. Anyway, reason I fucking love suburban noise. Hold on a second. I already fucking Hello? Dude, I told you to quit calling me. I don't, I don't fucking care how much money, I don't get care how much fucking money you're off me, there's no fucking way we're gonna sign with your fucking gay label, there's no way we're gonna be on the lineup with all those fucking homos you got over there, we'll never fucking sign with your gay ass label, we don't care about fucking getting on television and all that bullshit, we got fucking internet troops dude, we don't care about soccer moms and shit like that, just quit fucking calling me dude. All you fucking fags, I'm fucking sick of it. Whatever. Whatever. These fucking major labels are calling me fucking once a week. Capital, Warner Brothers, Universal, offering head PE all kind of fake ass money to join their fucking ridiculous uh, organizations. We're not gonna fucking do it. We're fucking gonna stick to our. I'm doing something. Anyway, fucking groupies. Shut up. Okay, I'll fuck you a little bit later. Anyway, fucking suburban noise is the best place for head PE because we do a lot of fucking real shit. You know, we're a band with a purpose. We're ahead of the truth movement right now. The thing I like most about suburban noise records is they don't tell you what to do. You're your own boss, basically, over there. We fucking, I mean, at the fucking major labels, you make, like, seven cents a record. Suburban Noise Records, you make, like, five bucks a record. You know what I'm saying? And they don't fucking try to babysit you, either. Fucking sick and tired of babysitting these guys. They're the biggest fucking pain in the ass on this label. If it's not fucking chicks, it's fucking conspiracy theory this and that, fucking paternity lawsuits, fucking Christian coalitions fucking up my ass. It's always fucking something with these guys. I mean, we do our best to like stay out of trouble, but when you're out on the road, when you're out on the road and every night the club is giving you free liquor, it's just fucking a little bit difficult. Fucking up venues, pissing off agents, telling the opening bands they're a bunch of fucking fags. It's just nothing but fucking headache.
into his art, which is tagging, you know, but he causes a lot of problems with the with club owners and stuff when he tags in the wrong places. They just can't fucking figure it out. Every day I come in with a new fucking slew of messages. Head PE did this, head PE spray painted on my shit, my daughter's on the head PE bus. We fucking... Head PE fucking beat up some guy out in front of the club. Head PE spray painting on my club. Head PE broke beer bottles in the backstage. We fucking... I hire a fucking ex-cop to fucking trace around the country with these guys and he can't even fucking keep them under control. He's a fucking cop. He's a fucking cop. And he can't keep fucking grown men under control. I'm fucking sick of fucking head PE. I'm sick of their road manager. I'm sick of their crew. I'm fucking done with this whole fucking thing. Jared. Hello? Yeah. Hey, Kevin, what's up, dude? How's it going? We got problems, dude. What's wrong? How's the record doing? No, it's not the fucking record. The record's doing fucking great. I'm sitting here looking at a fucking paternity lawsuit from some fucking 18-year-old groupie in fucking Idaho. Idaho? Yeah. I mean, what the fuck, dude? 18 years old? 18 years old fucking... Oh, dude, I'm sure it's just probably some crazy fan or some some chick just trying to play a game or something. You gotta straighten this fucking shit out, dude. I'm fucking a manager of a band, dude. I don't manage people's personal lives. I don't care about your paternity shit. This isn't my fucking problem, dude. Dude, I'm so, I'm so sorry about this, dude. You gotta get to the chick and straighten this shit out. I know, dude. It's not your job, and, and I, I apologize that the record label even had to be contacted on some bullshit like this. It's probably... I'm I'm glad the chick is fucking 18 years old, dude. Fucking, if it wasn't, your fucking dumbass be sitting in fucking jail right now. I'll clear this up for sure, and I, I promise you it can't be mine, because I always use a con. All right, you deal with it. I don't want to hear about it anymore. I'm done with it. This is the last I hear about it. If somebody fucking calls me, I'm not taking the call. Deal with it. I'm sorry, dude. I'll take care of that. Shit. I am so fucking high right now. I can't even deal with this.
why I smoke when I wake up and stay so high. Nobody wants to see the soldiers die, but nobody understands the Muslims either. But everybody understands the words of Bible. enough that products out there tagging all over the country pissing off all the fucking club promoters but now just to piss BJ off he's fucking tagging the likeness of BJ come look at this bullshit look at this shit that guy looks just like you who the fuck painted on the side of my fucking building fucking fat Albert it's you so what makes it even more hilarious is the fact that product's such a talented artist that the fucking drawing that he has of BJ is an exact fucking likeness of BJ. It's like BJ's mini me or whatever, down to the fucking shirt that BJ wears like every day. It's just like, so when you see BJ standing next to the tag and getting all pissed off, it's just like hilarious, you know? You just gotta laugh, even though it's a serious situation. You can't help yourself. Thanks a lot, man. I'll see you. Let's go, guys. Come on. I told you, let's go. Let's go. The bus is here. Let's go. What you product? Product! 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 Fucking product! But shit ain't funny. Shit ain't funny. It ain't funny. Dude. It ain't funny, dog. This shit is not funny. Okay? It ain't funny.
You know what I like because I see, I see a lot of punk rock kids, I see a lot of heavy metal kids, and I see a lot of hip hop kids, you know. And that's good. Because it's, it's important that we put our differences aside and focus on the real things, and that is to hate the emo kids. DJ. Kevin, I need your help, dog. What's up? Dude, Head P.E. is out here breaking the fucking law, dude. I head can't have... Dude, I don't want to hear him about anything more of fucking Head P.E.'s fucking bullshit, dude. These guys are a bunch of fucking perverts, dude. You're the fucking road manager. They're the fucking band. <laughs> Kevin, you don't understand, dude. They get on stage and play a show. You collect the money. It's not that fucking hard of a job. These dudes are fucking perverts. Dude, I don't give a shit. Bitches on the bus, spray paint everywhere. It's ridiculous. All this weed smoke and shit. It's, I, I, I'm trying to breathe between the weed smoke and the damn paint fumes. Turpentine, all this shit. It's not my fucking problem, dude. Tiny farting and burping. I need your help, bro. It's serious out here. I make the fucking deals, you guys fucking execute These it. These head PE motherfuckers are just a bunch of degenerate assholes. Figure it fucking out. I didn't sign up for this shit. At this point, I'm ready to make citizens arrest on all these motherfuckers. If I was still a cop, they'd all be in jail right now, okay? Drugs, underage, unlawful sexual intercourse, possession of paraphernalia. Come on, dude. Vandalism, tagging. I mean, you name it. These dudes are out of control. Do I need to just start a list of all the laws they're breaking? You're the fucking road manager. They're the fucking band. They get on stage and play a show. You collect the money. It's not that fucking hard of a job. You don't understand. I don't want to hear any of this fucking whiny fucking bullshit. Dog. Tell them to do their fucking shows. Go to fucking bed. Fuck some groupies. I'm done with it. Fine.
don't like you and you don't like me. Well, I never said I didn't like you, okay, but well, I, I guess really now like I know you don't like me. I don't really like you, bro, because you no. know what? You're so much better than what you portray to be. You're so much better than who you Is are. Is this on some, like, Farrakhan shit? No, it ain't shit. no Farrakhan shit, dude. You are a girl. Because all black people do not act the same, BJ. Okay, it doesn't matter about how black what's people this girl? About what, What's this it's girl? It's girl. Nigger. Oh, dude, that Nigger. is so demeaning to us as black people. How is it demeaning to us? That's Nigger. A, that's a word that the white folks coined that has nothing to do with the color of my skin or the color of your skin. It's totally white does. niggas. No. There's white niggas, there's Mexican niggas. There's no white niggas. Yes, there are. No, there are. The, the term of a nigga in the dictionary is somebody who's shiftless and lazy. Black slaves were not shiftless. Well, who wrote the lazy. dictionary? White folks. Exactly. Okay, but I don't play off of that. Do you? Are you? Do you feel like a nigga? You quoted it. I called you a nigga because it got your attention. Oh. Yes, thank you. Now listen to what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to help your career. You got a paternity suit. You got DJ products spray paint in half of America. You got all the promoters that don't want you guys to play at their venues. You're going to lose your agent. You're going to lose your record deal. You're going to lose this whole fucking band because you guys are degenerates and you're out of control. Degenerates? Yes, what, is that, degenerates. what does that even mean? And what it means is just wake the fuck up. Put the joint down and get some clarity and focus on your life. I don't know why you always have to bring weed smoking into the subject. Because weed smoking is affecting all of you motherfuckers. You guys would be so much smarter if you didn't smoke weed. Weed makes us smart. Weed does not make you smart. Weed makes you stupid. Stupid, stupid, 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 stupid.
Lord Avenger used to say it. The Bible is bullshit. Let me tell you kids something. You've got mail. So yeah, I fucking... I hear that this chick was fucking looking for me at the club where we're playing tonight. I went down there talking to BJ, so I just decided to fucking take the tour bus and go to her house and just get it over with and meet her, see if I even remember her, and take a look at this kid and see if the kid even looks like me or whatever. Oh my god, he's pulling up in a tour bus. What's he trying to prove? I don't know, but how yeah. embarrassing. Do you see one? Yeah. Do you see that one bus? too? Yeah. I did not want my neighbors to know about this. Well, they know now. Right? Yeah. So, I don't even know about the band Head PD, really. I don't listen to that type of music. I just yeah. went to the show with a bunch of my friends, and after the show, Jared was around, like, hanging on me the whole time, and, you know, he's not my type. I don't really get with black guys. And then, you know, he must put something in my drink or something, because the next thing I know, I'm in this whole situation. He's black? Yeah, I told you that. He doesn't look like it. Yes, he does. Oh. Okay. So I get to this chick's house and she's got her sister there and her sister's kids and she's a good looking chick, although to be honest I really don't remember getting with her. I took a look at this kid and honestly the kid is really light skinned to be my kid but the, the girl is really white like pale like a ghost so I mean I guess I won't know for sure until the DNA test comes back. So um... I guess we'll find out, you know? trying to tell me that, you know, these sand niggas could pull off 9-11, bringing down three buildings in one day, when fire has never brought down any building, steel structure before in history. You know, I believed it too for about the first couple years till somebody handed me like loose change or something. Then it was just like obvious. Now you've got like, you know, well distinguished uh, college Brigham Young uh, professors and stuff doing lectures about how the government story about 9-11 is fucking fake you know and so uh, we're gonna let the youth know that the government's lying and they've been doing false flag operations Pearl Harbor was a false flag operation the Gulf of Tonkin the sinking of the the uh, well, you know, I can't remember all the details, but it's obvious that the government has been fucking manipulating the public so that they can just enslave us through wars, phony wars. You've got the same bank funding both sides of a war. I mean, it's the Rothschilds is what it is, you know, the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers. These are the, pe the Bushes, you know. Bush is the biggest coke dealer in the world, Daddy Bush. He was dealing coke back in the CIA. They brought the fucking crack into the hood. They're the ones that started the Crips and the Bloods, the fucking Illuminati. Well, in the history of the United States, money's gone back and forth between being owned by the people and by the bankers about seven or eight times. 
and since 1913 it's been run by the bankers and what they do is they lend money to our government our government has to pay them back with interest and not a red cent of any taxes that we pay actually goes to our infrastructure it's all going back to pay off these bankers who are really just European rich families that have been running us for hundreds and hundreds of years I mean, I doubt that this could be my baby because, I mean, I always use a condom or whatever. I wasn't really prepared to be a dad right now anyway, so this chick's probably lying or whatever, but I'm going to find out. I just hope this doesn't get around because I don't know how, you know, the guys are going to feel about me having a kid or whatever like that, but the guys know that I'm responsible and I'm no kind of deadbeat or nothing. The guy's a fucking deadbeat. All I know is if he really is the father, he needs to step up and act like one. I mean, he just sits around and smokes weed all the time and just fucking doesn't even pay attention to what he's doing. It's like, doesn't even appreciate his bandmates, you know, just completely ignoring us and it's all about him. He just needs to get off the fucking high horse, you know. Because, you know, my dad ever did something like that, I'd fucking sock him in the face, you know. He does not want somebody to grow up all pissed off like me. Because that's what he's going to have, you know. So... Well, who am I, you know? Shh. I'm just the fucking stupid guitar player, you know, who gets ignored all the time.
was inspired by the Cottonmouth Kings. This is some rip hop for that ass. Push away a tear. When you're a lover in a fight, you can get confused. You feel fear, love, or hate. You don't have to choose. They choose you. Remember back on the block when we were still drinking 40s and fuck with the cops. Remember fucking with the shorties and dickies and docks. Fucking with the gangster rap and punk rock. We never knew back then that we would end up losing most of our friends. But when those friends start acting like they enemies and they dead to me, fuck a bitch, not a threat, it's destiny. Like sands through the hourglass. Can't stop the hand trying while she hours pass. You buy like you standing still. I smoke, I fuck, I kill these pop stars. Bitch, this a burning noise. We don't give a fuck about you fake ass rock stars. We the motherfuckers screaming, fuck the world and fuck you. We represent the truth. You are phony and fat of blue. Your time is up. We coming for you. Yeah, we all cheat up. Ain't gonna for you. And I'm a mega time time bomb with a chop.
Honestly, I don't know. I mean, maybe it'd be cool for, for me to have a kid and, and start settling down because, I mean, where does it all end? I mean, how many fucking different groupies am I supposed to fuck, you know? I mean, it's just getting kind of old after fucking 10 years of fucking different groupies here and there all over the world. It's like, maybe I do need to settle down for a little bit and start concentrating on this truth movement, getting the word out to the youth that there's humanoids all over the universe, that we're not the only ones in the universe, that the government knows we're not the only ones in the universe, that the government has been interacting with aliens since the 50s at least, that the government hides advanced technology, that the government is in possession of technology that could uplift humanity, that the government has the technology of for free energy, that we don't have to be dependent on oil. It's like we all need to wake up that we are being enslaved for our money. I mean, they're taking 30% of what we earn. So that means we have to like work three or four months out of the year just to pay the government, you know? And it's just a bunch of bullshit. They consider inferior. 
They consider humanity a resource to be used for their purpose. They are at a time, a very important time right now, when they are working with some new energies on this planet that they don't work well with. So a lot is coming out into the open, and that is higher law, that it must come out into the open. And they are under higher law also. And they are under higher law also. The youth need to wake up to the fact that we are just one of hundreds of different forms of life in the universe. And it's not my opinion, these are facts. What you really need to do is watch this lecture, The Disclosure Project. I mean, everything you want to find out is, is out there for you on YouTube, or if you want to Google it, or whatever. But Google in 9-11 lies. You know, Google in there Vatican lies. 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 Go in there and put in Zeitgeist, Z-E-I-T-G-E-I-S-T, -E -E and watch that movie and see about all the lies that have been perpetrated on civilization between religion and the lies about our place in the universe in terms of other sentient life that is out there, other humanoid beings that are just like us, that have been around way before us. The reptilians have had space travel for millions of years. We are babies in this universe. We were created by other more advanced life forms. Everyone needs to wake up to all of this, man, but we should be proud of who we are as earthlings and what we've accomplished as a new form of life, you know? We should be proud at our fucking hardcore and our hip hop and our blues, 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 blues. Everything that we've come up with on our own on this planet, like the UFC, heavy metal, punk rock, hardcore music, it's all ours. It's something that we came up with. And then they couldn't hold us down. Even though they tried to manipulate us through their fake and phony wars, we still persevered. We're still here. If they wanted to, they would have killed us all off by now, but they couldn't and they can't. This kid don't look like me, but he is kind of cute. Do you guys think this kid looks like me? We'll find out when the DNA test gets back, but I won't be able to tell you until episode two, 2009. So thanks for watching the DIY guys and Keep the fight going. Head PE over and out. 2008. Might be my kid. This might be my kid. You never know.